what it is, team. I got two weeks of training footage kind of amalgamated. Some days I didn't do very much filming. Some days I did a little bit more. This is a general overview of what happened the last couple weeks. Now I'm done week four of the cycle. We got one more week left before we switch over to a, uh, that's described as a hybrid strength block, peak block. We'll do some testings, see what's what. But um, yeah, this week, this past couple weeks, I felt they went pretty good. Um, being all over sick is nice, and then you know starting some new stuff professionally, which was kind of interesting. And now that I'm able to, you know, get back into more of a normal swing of things, which is really nice. Uh, I never stopped going to the gym, but certain times, you know, I didn't feel like I was as mobile as I should. Some of the clips definitely demonstrate that. There was one deadlift clip where. The pauses were more like rolling stops, and like my back wasn't super, uh, super flat like I like it. It was kind of, you know, a little bit more rounded, and that's not exactly how I like to lift. But that's okay. It's something that I am working on, and I do realize that. So, the topic for our little discussion today, <laughs> our Sunday night fireside chats with myself, Ben Cho, is. As the video type, type, title suggests, enjoy the ride. Now, most people who work out on a regular basis might put in like four hours a week. But, you know, I put in double that easily, at least. That doesn't include my focus on nutrition, my willingness to go to bed early, and my, like, compulsive disorder, <laughs> quote-unquote to drink as much water as I can possibly get into my body. So aside from all that, I do spend about eight hours a week at the gym. And I really do need to find things that I like to do at the gym, and I gotta enjoy it. I like the people that are there. You know, I really do. I have a, you know, a couple of really good friends at the gym that I see on a regular basis, which is really nice. And even some friends that I don't see on such a regular basis, maybe every couple of weeks, three weeks. It's always really, really nice to talk to them. Uh, not just because that they're like-minded, or you know that they like powerlifting in general or fitness in general. They're just really nice people, and I, I I like going there and you know saying what's up and seeing what's going on with them and you know learning from their experiences and their insights. They do things a little bit differently than I do, but you know they really got some heads, good heads on their shoulders and I like that. But for me specifically, enjoying the ride or like you know really like learning to live and love the process. It's everything. I would not be able to go to the gym at the frequency nor the dedication that I do if I did not enjoy what I do. And, you know, I was talking to Nicholas about this earlier in the week, um, and he was talking a little bit about, like, he needs to, like, enjoy the process, if I remember the conversation correctly. And I think that's something that everybody needs to do, especially people who are, you know, seasoned lifters. It's not, you know, the first you know, two, three years in the gym. We've been working out for a while now, specifically. It's coming up on a, you know, a long time. And you really got to appreciate, you know, where you've been and also understand that's going to be a good indicator of where you're going. And that, that's all part of the process. I keep my workout books. I know Nicholas does too. I have a log of the workout books for like the last, I think it's probably close to four years now. And I'm working on another one right now. It's going to be great. When I retire lifting, I'm going to love looking back at those books and seeing the days and days and days and days and days I spent at the gym. And, you know, just, like, like flipping through and gradually seeing the numbers increase and, like, the volume increase and just, like, going from, like, 225 bench to going to, like, 315 and a 405 and a 455. You know, that's the kind of stuff that really motivates me. Like, I, I love that. I love being able to say that, yeah, you know, I, I couldn't do a pull-up, but now I can do a million of them. And that's what I enjoy. I enjoy the, the, the small things where, like, I understand that, like, as long as I stay mobile today, then I can do things tomorrow. That's what I enjoy. I enjoy, like, the little details that I get to do really, 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 really well, and then I get to put it all together on one special day and really show up. And, you know, that's my hobby. <laughs> that's what I love to do. I love powerlifting. It's awesome. Anyway, guys, Sunday night, fireside chat. It's over. Let the tapes roll. Talk to you next week.